Hi, this is Billy Bean with the U.S. News Update. Today's date, March 26, 2024, time about 11 a.m. in Texas, episode 151, Sabotage, Port of Baltimore. So let's get to it. My sources on this are uh, Daily Mail, Steve Quill's aggregate site, Hal Turner Plus. So about 1.30 Eastern Time in, in the U.S. on March 26, we had a collision of a ship with the Francis Scott Keys Bridge located near near the city of Baltimore adjacent to Washington DC the name of the ship was the Dolly registered out of Singapore we have currently missing at least 20 construction workers who were working on the bridge at the time of the uh, collision of the ship with the bridge. And we still have missing 20 construction workers. We have had two people rescued from the cold waters. We also have missing three to four civilian vehicles that were on the bridge at the time of the collapse. This happened at 1.30 in the morning. The temperature of the waters is 47 degrees Fahrenheit with a likely um, time for people to live in those waters without special equipment according to a specialist, is three hours. And we still have all most of these people and vehicles still missing. So this is what happened. About 1.30 in the morning, the ship, a cargo ship, Dolly, was approaching the Francis Scott Keys Bridge to go into the port when just before it was adjacent to the bridge it suddenly lost power. Now this is a foreign owned vessel and it had on it a specialized U.S. crew to bring the ship into the port. Just before they reached the bridge they had a sudden loss of propulsion on the ship. All the lights went out. The masters of the vessel that also includes a Ukrainian citizen notified the port that they had lost power and said, it's likely we will hit the bridge. And they did hit the bridge and knocked out a support. Now this bridge is a four lane, uh, about a uh, long bridge that carries up to 31,500 um, vehicles per day. Uh, it's part of the I-695 uh, road uh, system of the U.S. And uh, it's believed that these um, people went down and what's, this is Chesapeake Bay and another area in this uh, body of water is the Patapsco River. So that's going on. So we have this. So it's believed a possible cyber attack. Uh, the ship, Dolly, is owned by the Synergy Group. It was piloted by a local U.S. crew. The ship is a 100,000 ton vessel, <coughs> excuse me, 948 feet long. It approached the bridge, lost 
power, all the lights went out, and it suddenly veered to the left out of the control of the U.S. local crew. Therefore, there's a basis for believing there was a cyber attack. And Francis Scott Key was the author of the national anthem, Star Spangled Banner. So we can see some uh, individuals putting this forth as a direct attack upon America. Also, Maryland is adjacent to Washington, D.C., which we know is not a part of the U.S. This is a foreign-owned piece of land uh, where supposedly the capital of the U.S. is located. So we have that going on. On scene, we currently have the NTSB, the FBI, the U.S. Coast Guard, Narcissa, the U.S. government and military-affiliated cyber attack group, was immediately contacted. In the state of Maryland, a state of emergency has been uh, proclaimed. This current uh, bridge and shipping area handles up to 25% of U.S. coal exports. And now we have this. Yeah. And we have observers in the area where this ship hit the Francis Scott Keys Bridge. Before the collision, observers saw black smoke coming from the vessel moments before it hit the bridge. So this concludes my... Uh, update on the bridge collision so we have all shipping stopped this was a special port in the u.s it handled specialized cargo including shipments of military equipment and vehicles and just hours before this happened at 1 30 in the morning just hours before we had, um, so we have, we have Israel, we have Syria, and about last night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the U.S. military, up to six planes, were attacking multiple locations inside Syria. Is there a connection? That's unknown, but I submit to you, this is my thinking. I don't believe the uh, ship hitting a structural uh, component of the bridge was enough to cause the bridge to collapse. The bridge st structurally has, is routinely inspected. I submit the possibility that there were pre-planted explosives on the bridge. The ship was taken over by cyber uh, methods and then caused to crash into one of the structural supports that de then detonated the explosions on the bridge causing the bridge to collapse is america under attack it would appear so who are our likely enemies who would uh, cause this bridge to go down we certainly can begin by looking inside our own gates to our shadow U.S. federal government, the shadow CIA, and so on. Now, outside the U.S., uh, we have that attack that went on in Syria. So there's a possible Middle Eastern component we can also uh, look at. And do I believe this was Russia, Russia, Russia? I can't rule that out uh, because President Putin yesterday came out and said and made a public statement to the world that Russia 
believes the terrorist attack that happened last Friday in Moscow at a concert hall uh, by four assassins hired by Ukraine. President Putin came out and said that the Russian government had determined that the groups or governments behind the attack were most likely Ukraine and Washington, D.C. This concludes my flash. I love you and I'll see you soon.